John is very loyal. Brilliant. John's a lot of fun. Extremely humorous. Very creative. John, I think, is a phenom. He's just extraordinarily talented and admired. I think another thing about him that makes him very successful is that he's very true to his own concept of things. The man is able to produce year after year, time after time, emotional work that captivates the viewer and involves the viewer in a way that uh, very few other designers can do. He always, you know, just thinks about colors and every, it's all they meld together and how they do and so it's uh, very successful. John is enormously passionate in what he does and you know it really shows in all of his work. His designs, they're beautiful, the, the objects are stately, many of them, but many of them are also very ordinary, so you don't feel intimidated, you feel curious. He's very attached to the classic mode, ancient Rome, ancient Greece. John has proved himself to be timeless because if you go back to something he's done, 30 or 40 years ago, it's still current today. I think that John is the world of design. There's nobody that comes close to him in terms of vision, nobody as good as him, and he creates these very unique visual narratives. My first impression of John uh, was perhaps that he was the biggest snob I've ever met. We showed him some incredibly brightly colored yellow samples and he told me that he did not decorate in rancid butter. I was surprised how easy he was to work with. I expected him to be a prima donna, but he wasn't. He was so open to new ideas. We looked at John's products and his textiles. And there's an, oh, usually an ombre, a softness to it, a hardness to it. Very, very hard to kind of really coordinate. And he does it without missing a beat. I think if he had a chance to have another career, he'd be a painter, because he was trained as a painter. I think without doubt, uh, John would have made a great pope. He would have revolutionized the Catholic Church, liberalized a lot of uh, its philosophies, and uh, had great fun with its uh, collection of art. I think he'd be a professor of architecture at Yale. Rome. I described him as Rome. He studied there. He comes from a very Italian family. I think all of Italy is embodied in him in some way. Venice is John's town. The buildings and the colors, the river, uh, uh, the topes and the sunset colors and, and the pastels, that's what John would be if he could be a city. He'd be Rome. He's not afraid of things falling down, being slightly crumpled and <laughs> ruined. My first impulse would be Rome. John worked in Rome, John made extraordinary references to Italy and Rome from the Palladian styled architecture to the Pantheon and all of the beautiful gardens in Rome. John has an incredible sense of humor. Um, he can keep a, a group of people entertained for uh, hours. He's a lot of fun. He has a wicked sense of humor. He's funny. He's very, very funny, and he has a heightened awareness of everything. If you do take him to a good restaurant, make sure there's no music in the background. Make sure it's not too loud, that the ceiling's not too low. Make sure that his seat is preferably facing the window or the a wall behind him, and make damn sure that the food is good. Where he sits in a restaurant means everything to him. Noise is a, a, a abhorrent. In fact, he once said that space and quiet are the last luxuries of the 20th century. And that's the other thing about him, he's very aphoristic. He's very knowledgeable, very knowledgeable. And he's interested in people and he's interested in other things. He knows about gardening, he knows about food, he knows about wine, and he's not pretentious about it. It's just so much a part of him that that makes being with him fun too. You always learn something from him. I think a lot of people don't know that John's very generous. When I was diagnosed with Parkinson's, I went out to see him with my husband, and I immediately fell on his beautiful terrazzo floor. And when he leaned down to pick me up, he was crying. And I was so touched by that, that, that he could show that emotion. 
So very few people know how sensitive he is. He is kind and loyal in addition to being the genius that he is. I don't think everyone appreciates John for that part of his personality. He's contributed something of beauty to this world. His philosophy has been peace and quiet and space and dignity. I do have these clear images of these visual narratives that John put together. And that's kind of great. All of this, John, thank you, because it was an amazing ride, an amazing experience, and I was so fortunate to be exposed to you and that world.